Is that the only thing you can think of to say? Nice abs! <sighs>、uh, Beatrice, what are you doing here? I had to look you up in the phone book. The number you gave me was to a pizza parlor in Brownsburg. What? Are you sure? Butterscotch. I'm pregnant. Oh. Whoa, boy. Come on, Bopper. Can you give us some privacy, please? Sure thing, Butterscotch. You take it easy. Are you certain it's mine? Well, whose else could it be? What do you want to do?、Uh, maybe you have a cousin who has a, a a friend who knows a doctor who can take care of such inconveniences. I'm I'm happy to do the gentlemanly thing and and pay for the cab fare. No, I can't. Well, that doesn't leave us with very many options. I'm a ruined woman. Well, don't be hysterical. You're not ruined. It's a verifiable fact. You look more beautiful than ever. <laughs> well, what do you know? It was a pretty great night we had together, huh? It was. Say. Did you ever hear the story of the couple who moved to California? I can't say that I have. Oh, it's a marvelous adventure. You see, they hardly knew each other, but they shared a certain sensitivity and a taste for the unknown. They were living in a one-horse town, so they headed west towards a town that could accommodate three horses. Oh yes, I think I have heard this story. They got a small house in San Francisco near the bookstore. He got in good with Squirrel and Getty and his scurry. He wrote his great American novel. While his wife took care of the baby. His wife. Oh, well, I didn't hear about that part. Well, I mean, if she'd have him, if a beautiful creature like herself could ever love an oaf like him, I think she could. Yeah. And isn't that how the story goes?、Mm. I was blue constantly. You came along, cured my blue soul. Love really happened to me. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. The baby's hungry. I tried. He won't eat. I don't know what he wants. Well, can you figure it out? If I don't sleep, how can I work to support you and the child? Let alone have energy left over to write. Maybe if anyone wanted to pay you for anything you wrote, we'd be able to afford a nanny and a maid. Well, if Squirrel and Getty and his horde of commie, liberal, Jew-loving rejects knew what good writing was, I'd be able to sell something. Oh, so they're all wrong, and you're right. Oh. Why won't you just take that corner office job at Sugarman West instead of breaking your back all day at the cannery, and then maybe you could afford me some decent help around here? You want me to work for your father and get paid for it like some sort of slave? That is the opposite of slavery. Is it? Yes, it is. You have no facility for language. Oh, will you at long last be quiet? You wanted that baby. Never forget that. I need quiet. You better be worth all this. <laughs> <laughs>